Okay, now that the late pad is somewhat all right, it's cooking, still in the evaporous, but in the meanwhile we can start on all the other parts and it's mainly cleaning and getting rid of the smooth that is all over the place. For example, this apron is looking real nice. But I'll just go ahead and start with cleaning the rods because well, the lead screw and the feed rod and the clutch rod because they are in my way the most. get the electrode placing close to optimal and to prevent the anode from touching the cathode we need to make a temporary jig and in this case it means drilling some holes into some pieces of wood. So here we have the setup more or less and now we'll just turn on the water and see how it will stay perfectly contained inside the top. Okay. 
how the things are set up in the bath and next step is to hook it up. Two important things here. The part to be clean goes on the negative side, otherwise you're going to rust it up. And they can't be touching, so you don't short them out. So I just like to take a quick reading on the resistance and it gives me something around 20 ohms, which is, I don't really care what it is, as long as it's not too low, which tells that they are touching. So, the parts to be cleaned, they are here, let's just do this awful connection. So, and the other leads goes to the sacrificials. And just hook it up. It's drawing 6 amps, which is more than I want, so let's take it down a notch. Now the fancy way would be to use a current source which is current limited. Since I don't have one I'm going to use a resistor as a current limiter and this is just an ordinary Hoji light. with a very hazardous connection. Believe it or not, I've done this before and not burned the house down. All the sketchiness aside, things are bubbling nicely. I can see bubbles forming on all the sacrificial uh, plates and, and rebars, and also on all of the three rods to be cleaned. I added some additional plates to the ends just to reduce the shadowing effect. As everybody knows, electricity is very lazy and they like to go in the line of sight principle. Electrostatics. Alright, they've been soaking for a little less than a day. Now let's just take them out, rinse them and give them a little bit of brush to get them clean and then some in this case, gun oil to prevent them from flash frosting again. <laughs> 